What's up guys, Matt here, and I purchased another storage unit today. Um, just got here, opened the door, I wanted to show you guys uh, my first impressions and you know why I decided to uh, buy this storage unit. I paid $220 for this unit, which is quite a bit for me. The most I'd ever paid on a storage unit was $40, so this is quite a step up. But one of my goals for 2019 is to take more chances and try uh, try some bigger and better things. So. Like I said, paid 220 for this, and I want to just kind of give you guys the first impressions and show you, uh, you know, just give you my thoughts and stuff. So let's check it out. There she is. The re okay, so the reason I paid 220 is this pile of boxes. Look at just how many there are. Um, I look at buying storage units as kind of like gambling, in a way. Because really, I mean, usually I I go by, like, if I can see something in the pictures that will give me my money back, that's usually how I buy storage units. Um, but on this one, I really didn't see anything, like, that I could pinpoint and say, yes, I will definitely get money out of this, and I would get my 220 back right away. Um, the one thing I did see was this ivory box which has a little, you know, a little value, maybe 30, 40 bucks on eBay. And there's actually two of them. There's one down there as well. So I saw those two, looked those up on eBay. Anywhere between 20 and $40, I would say, for those. Um, but really, other than that, I kind of wanted this shelf, to be honest. It's, now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of, oh, it's pretty sturdy, actually. So I'll use that for um, eBay stuff. I'll, you know, obviously give it a good dusting and that'll, That'll be good in my eBay room. I'm always looking for shelving. Um, it's a couple of old school TVs. My parents had a TV like this for the longest time until I, I one Christmas many years ago, I bought them a flat screen TV and said, Dad, it's time to get rid of that old TV. So that's pretty interesting. But like I said, the boxes are what drew me to this unit. Here's an old, here's an old KitchenAid. Now I don't really know much about like old school oh, there's a spider what's up bud don't really know much about kitchen stuff but there's an old kitchen aid somebody in the comments might know that it looks like the wire is split right there so i don't know if that's going to make a difference or not but i do not know but you know you can see some of these boxes are labeled materials for kids road maps large materials sam's black book there's this there's an old mozart thing back here this is going to be a lot of fun i think just the amount of stuff so like getting back to it the gamble is there's so much so many boxes in here that you just hope that a couple of them pan out to be you know something so i think the plan is, since there's so much, I'm definitely not going to be able to get it all done today. I think they, he said they close up there uh, in a couple of hours. So the plan is to load as much into the car as possible and then take it home and then kind of do an unboxing at home. This may be a multiple part video. This There may be two or three. This may be like a mini series or something. Just going through all this stuff is going to take a while. So I think I'm going to just load up the car with as much as I can, take it home, and just kind of unbox it in my garage. I finally got my garage cleaned out to where I could buy another storage unit like this. And then tomorrow I'll come back and get the rest. I've got a couple of days to get this cleaned out. So if I need if I need to take it into the third day, I will. But I'm hoping to be able to get it all done tomorrow. Um, the other thing is I'm, it's just me. Uh, the finance department is at work. So it'll just be me loading this stuff up. And the other thing I bought this unit is it's, it has some furniture in it. You know, like I said, there's TVs and stuff, but nothing that I can't just fit in my car. So shouldn't be any issue. I'll be able to lift it and put it into the car, no problem. So that was kind of, I saw this stuff in the pictures. I was like, well, I'll be able to get that. So anyway, looks like a very intriguing, let's, oh, let's look in here. What does it say? Garden seeds. Okay. Maybe a mouse in there. I don't know. Okay, well, it's, oh, no, it's it's pretty sealed up. But it says garden seeds on the top. Let's, let's shake it. Yeah, sounds like seeds to me. So this is going to be a very interesting unit. Like I said, a gamble for sure. But with so many boxes, oh, is that like, 
I was like, I can't really see anything. It looks kind of like mouse bedding in there. Hopefully not. But anyway, I'm going to get um, to loading up. I think what I'll do is just do like a time lapse of me loading stuff up. And then uh, the next time you'll hear from me will be probably in my garage as we do the unboxing of the first load of stuff. So I will see you guys in my garage. <laughs> All right, so I lied. The next time you see me is not one in my garage, but I wanted to show you guys kind of the progress. One load down, <laughs> barely made a dent um, in the in the the stack of boxes. So didn't go through any of it. Just loaded it up, took it home, loaded it in, into my garage, and like I said, I'll uh, go through it with you guys back there. Um, but I just wanted to show you this is this is load number two so round two and um, I'll do another time-lapse video and then the next time I will talk to you will be in my garage for sure so I will see you guys then guys we're here in the garage ready to start going through some of these boxes I got two car loads home so far it is now night time I'll go back tomorrow and get the rest but wanted to go through some of these boxes and show you guys what we've got a lot of them are labeled books I'm not sure what this one's uh, not cookbooks and stuff but that's definitely not what's in here I don't think maybe there is but it looks like some old Tupperware, some CDs, and yeah, this must be like the music box, cassettes, CDs, Marty Robbins, so probably stuff all this pitch, Eddie Arnold, some old cassettes and stuff, so probably things of garbage, more CDs. Sets, so this Kerr, regular Mason jar lid. I'll have to check that out. Some trash bags, you can always use more of those. That's nice. Definitely keep her some books. Nature's design. A lot of these boxes say books on them, so we are going to familiarize ourselves with books. So, and I will say that. Just kind of looking at these boxes, they're all pretty much labeled, and so far they seem to be what there's actually in the what's in the box is actually what's labeled. So well, uh, nothing too great in this box. Some, like I said, some trash bags. About the best thing in this box. So let's set that to the side and move on to the next one. A lot of boxes that say papers and things like that. Those boxes I probably won't go through on camera. This is just miscellaneous, it says. Oh, here we go. Huh. Okay. Bunch of brand new 50 amp double pole circuit breaker. And this whole box is full of old. This has, it looks like maybe a Menards was 2826. Pushmatic. Um, let me get my phone out and see if there's something interesting, you know, that I'm curious about. I'll look it up on eBay real quick. Just scan it. Since these have barcodes, it'll be pretty quick to just scan. 
see if any of these have any value to them. Let's see. Let's go ahead and scan that barcode. Um, huh. Okay. Is that for real? I'm going to show now. Okay, nice. This sold for $26.05 for the for this one. And there's a whole there's a whole box of just a bunch of new ones never been opened. That's a great start, I think. I said just a bunch. And then a bunch that have been opened. I don't know what I'll do with those, but all these ones that are still sealed will definitely go on eBay. So several. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And I know I've seen other boxes that were labeled like electrical outlets, plugs, things like that. <coughs> Hopefully, <coughs> we'll find some more stuff like that. All right. Let's dig into this next box. It looks like to me a bunch of paperwork. So. I'm not going to dig in too far. I don't want to show anything I'm not supposed to. You know, like letters and mail and stuff, magazines, some children's books. So, nothing too exciting in here. A bunch of magazines, just like a few little tools and things, some jumper cables. So, nothing too crazy in there. Yeah, that, that electronics box that put the with the switches in it with the amps, you know, that's pretty good. Very nice start to our boxes. We gotta make up a lot of money, so that'll that that box with the amps in it will really help us. There's a Bengals hat. Eye cleansing kit, some pads, looks like some more personal effects and mail. Don't know what that is. Uh, more photos. Yeah, it looks like more paperwork in this box here, so I'll probably go through that a little bit closer off camera. I mean, we just got a lot of boxes to get through, so. Okay. Very interesting box. I don't know. What's the point? It's just a bunch of pieces of rope. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not a whole lot of value in that box, you know. All right, let's look at this glassware. This is so I have a good feeling this is going to be a unit that's going to force me to learn a, about a lot of different things that I'm not familiar with. This being one of them, like this box is full of just these ball. Like mason jars and things, different pieces of glass, things I'm not super familiar with or that I know any of the values of. But this this whole box is just these glass mason jars. I don't want to bust them all up, man. But very interesting. I don't know what the heck is in this. Maybe those are old beans. I don't know. That's messed up. But just a bunch of, of those mason, ball mason jars. Looks like, don't know what kind of value those have. Or, you know, anything really about that kind of stuff. But I'm going to learn. So, here's a cool box that says cameras on it. I like that. Now we're getting into what I like. Oh, yeah, boys. This is exactly what I was hoping would be. And then when I saw this box of cameras, I was hoping it would have one of these in it. Old Polaroid 600. Sell this to Retrospect. Man, that's nice. $27.99 for this guy here. So, $27.99. Don't need to test it. Don't need to know if it works. Just $27.99. Here's a pretty interesting old Brownie Target 620. So, it's pretty cool old camera stuff here. That's, that's pretty sweet. It's like an old flash. Here's this, a GE. Was this like a recorder thing? That's pretty cool. 
cassette tape recorder, pretty interesting. Not sure of the value. I'll set that to the side. And there's a bag here. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, nice. Is this a Sony Handycam maybe? Nope, Canon Handycam. So a Canon Handycam here. Not sure of the value of this. Um, does have the charger, so that's always a plus. I do sell a lot of Handycams. Never really any Canon ones though. Um, usually just stick to the Sonys. But pretty nice. It's got all the paperwork and stuff, which I actually sell the paper. You know, if this, if this doesn't work, I may sell it for parts only. It doesn't look like it has a battery, so unless there's a battery in one of these pockets. But still, I'll sell the charger. I'll sell the paperwork for it and make a few bucks there. So not bad. That's a nice. That's a that's a pretty solid box with, the, like I said, the Polaroid. That's twenty seven ninety nine. All day long this thing could have some value the GE that's cool and this old brownie I don't know really anything about that I'll have to look that up further on eBay but pretty nice box there not too bad all right, here's a box with the tape in it I got my uh, pocket knife here a box cutter Yeah, it doesn't have anything written on the side. Uh, checks from restaurants. Okay. It's a very interesting thing to keep. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. So, just a bunch of checks from restaurants. Um, looks like where maybe they got paid and they kept, and they kept all that stuff. Okay. So I'll set that to the side. Paperwork, personal stuff. This looks like a bunch of books. I said there was quite a few boxes that said books on them, which is I don't know, not really my thing, but definitely something I love. My wife loves old books, looking them up and stuff, so she might be pretty interested in this kind of stuff. The lamp lighter. I again, I really don't have a whole lot of knowledge in like old books. Some old books here. Let's see. How to build cabinets. Okay. Science. Popular science. A couple of popular science books. There's actually four of them in there. Uh, a couple other old books. Natural sciences. So a lot to do with sciences in this book. In this box here. And it's a bunch of old books. Don't really know the value or. No whole lot on those, so I'll just have to look those up on eBay. Let's see if they've got any value. Right. Let's go to this other box. There's another box of books. Not too exciting, but I should probably look through them. Let's just say Reader's Digest, just a bunch of, kind of random books in here. Some magazines. I probably can't see it. This box is a little too tall, but never bet your life. So, again, more just random books, things like that. So, I'll, again, I'll just either donate these if they don't have a lot of value. Um, but I you know, got to do a little bit more research and see what those go for. Probably nothing. Probably just donate stuff or trash stuff. Not really sure. Let's see. Another box of books. Take a quick peek in here. Yep. That's what we got. More books, more books. These look like a little bit more recent books. Got some phone books down there. So, yeah, another box of books there. out says Chilton's auto truck and van books now those are books that I know that was in here yeah it's like there's a couple in here they're kind of rough though these old old repair manuals I know they some of these have some value this one's kind of rough though from 1984 pretty interesting 
have to look that up even in the condition it may have some ice. Again, some old books there. Some old. What's this? Oh, Sears Roebuck catalog. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's some more. Here's another one of those. This looks to be in a little better condition. I know these books, manuals, these old car manuals and stuff. I've seen other people sell them on uh, eBay, so those two may have some value even with the condition that this one is in. It may have some value still. So again, we'll have to look those up. Moving right along. We have a lot to go through, so I'm trying to do this in a somewhat quick pace. <laughs> Christmas ornaments. Nice. Christmas just passed. Check out these. Hopefully they're as nice as they claim. I wouldn't know though. Yeah. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Some clothes. Yeah, these are definitely Christmas ornaments. <laughs> I have no idea if, I, if these have any value or how nice they are, but I'll try to show you guys those. Bunch of Christmas ornaments. I was hoping for nicer than that. Let's see what else we got here. Boxes with some auto radio series books. Pretty interesting old Howard and Sam's company. Hmm. Like maybe from the 70s or something. There you go. August 1963, 1968, 68. So some old books. Those may have, I don't know, someone may want to collect those. Here's some. These are like catalogs from this, whatever company this is, Howard and Sam Company, and they kept everything. Folder sets, that's an interesting box. I have to set that to the side, I don't know if those will have some sort of collector value or, or not, but yeah, nothing I've ever seen anything like that before. Alright, continuing on here, this looks like just a bunch of uh, just random junk drawer type stuff. So, set that to the side. Not really anything exciting in there for you guys to see. Box of papers. Let's go into this one. Some more books. Yeah, this person was definitely a collector of books. That's for sure. And who knows? Uh, Hawkins Electrical Guide. I mean, it would be hard for me to look up all these books to see if there's you know any that have a whole bunch of value but for two hundred and twenty dollars what I have into this unit it's gonna probably be something I'm gonna have to do but yeah just a bunch of little small books and things in here nothing too exciting to show you guys that one says bills and such so I'll just it does say Christmas decor on the other side so let's open it up I wasn't gonna open it because if it was just bills and such but this side says Christmas decor so what is it bills or Christmas decor well, it's Christmas decor so some big lots of gift boxes ornaments, Christmas cards, you can never have too many Christmas cards and Christmas lights, so yep definitely Christmas decor, there, Very interesting, papers, ball, mason jars, more, more mason jars, here, I feel like when I'm done with this, I'm gonna have a lot of these, yep. So I gotta figure out 
what kind of value these old ball mason jars have there. These are pretty nice actually. These are in pretty nice condition. Ball mason. Made in the USA. There's a whole bunch of them. Three, six, nine. There's, there's a dozen there. So pretty cool. Don't know what those go for. If they have any value. You guys, if you know in the comments, just let me know. I'm sure you guys know what those are worth. But I'll look them up and see what if we can sell them on eBay and Small box. This one was opened. Got some old VHS tape. Scooby Doo, Little Mermaid. There. Christmas Story Keepers. That one's not in there actually. Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Sea. I actually never seen. Didn't even know they made a Little Mermaid 2. So. Pretty interesting. There. So as you can see, I still have, this is a pile of boxes back here from the first and second trip. Um, probably that stuff will get opened in the next video. I wanted to end this video with doing what I feel like may be the best three boxes that I've gotten so far. Um, although we've, we've gotten some unexpected decent boxes, but these um, I, I put them off to the side because I felt like they may have the potential to be the best three. Now, like I said, this video is probably going to be really long, so it'll be in sections. This will be like part one. There's going to be definitely a part two and possibly even a part three. So with that being said, this will be the last three boxes of part one. And then that pile, along with a couple more uh, carloads, will be video number two. This probably will end up being three videos. But I wanted to start with this. This was just sitting on top of the box. Not a whole lot of value, but pretty cool. Kind of a precursor of what is to come. Great Men of Music, Wolfgang Mozart, some sort of record, time life record. So that's pretty cool. I think I, I already looked that up on eBay. It's like, I don't know, $9 plus shipping or something. So maybe something. All right. Now, this box is too tall to place in front of the camera. So I'll just off the side. Here's the box of seeds that was from before. So I don't know what I'll do with these. A, a lot of seeds in here, so a lot of empty, unused packs of seeds in there. Not sure what I'll do with this. So now in this box, there are a ton. On this box, it says Long Play Vinyl, I think? Yeah, Long Play Records. So this is a whole box of records. Now, I don't really know much about records, but you can tell me. I'll just we'll go through each one of them. And you, you know, if you in the comments, if you see one like, oh, I know that's got some value. I've sold that before, or that's a pretty cool one. Then you guys can just let me know. But the Dalton family, Jimmy Dean, I love the sausage. Man, I shouldn't have said that. Roger Miller, Bill Anderson. The people I haven't, I've, I'll stop when I've actually heard of somebody because I haven't heard of any of these so far. Uh, Faraway places, not sure what that is. Country and Western Greats, Volume 6. Johnny Cash is on there. Heard of him. So there's that. This box is, I would say, about half full with these long, what they call long play vinyls. Eddie Arnold. Try to use a little bit faster. The Smothers Brothers. Never heard of that. Chet Atkins. Nope. Chet Atkins. Grand Ole Opry. Yep, Grand Ole Opry. Looks like a lot of country and western. Stonewall Jackson, Andy Williams. So pretty cool. Carl Smith. So I've never really bought records. I've never. I haven't sold a single record on eBay yet. I just don't know a whole lot about them. That's another category that I want to. I want to get familiar with because there's definitely plenty of vinyl out of the uh, thrift stores, and I always see people going through them when I'm there. So they must be finding stuff in there that's worth selling. Another Chad Atkins. We got three of those now. Oh, there's one. Finally got the one. Johnny Cash, Original Golden Hits, Volume 1. So, it's pretty cool. Finally. Oh, the sound of Johnny Cash. Pretty nice. Gun, Gunfighter Ballads. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay. Everybody knows Kenny Rogers. Even I know that. 
Elvis, cool. Elvis record. Pretty neat. Country music. More country music. Anne Murray. Never heard of her. She looks kind of like Princess Diana. Anne Murray. And Lonesome Country Songs. Got a small stack more here. That'll be it for this box. John F. Kennedy record. Meet Claude King. Doris Day. What's this one behind it? 25 polka greats. I'll probably throw this on tonight. Just, you know, have a good party. A little polka party. Jimmy Dean again. Cool. Ring of Fire. The best of Johnny Cash. So we got, what, three Johnny Cashes in here? Oh, here's another one. Folsom County Prison. Fortunately, his eyes are scratched out. Oh, savage. So another Johnny Cash there. That's cool. Jimmy Dean. This is like our third Jimmy, third or fourth Jimmy Dean one. So that's pretty good. I guess ones that are, there's a bunch of a lot up. Eddie Arnold again. And this is not, this is a repeat of the same one. That's the second one of these Dalton families we got. Roy Drusky. So pretty cool box there. That was interesting. Set that off to the side. And the last two boxes I want to show you guys are these crates. These are the ivory crates. I could see these from the picture. It's got this word, ivory, on there. I couldn't see this, but it's got, oh man, this box is heavy. Procter & Gamble trademarks. So P&G, which is a big company here in Cincinnati. So I think this is what I, when I looked this up online, it's like an ivory soap box or something. So let's open that up and see what's inside there. Oh, okay. And this interesting. So the box itself was something I was planning on selling, but this particular one seems like it's seen better days. What, what's in here? Man, there's a large, large book in here. Bunch more like loose vinyl. I'll have to go through all those. Don't know if like ones without the covers would really sell for anything. I wouldn't think. Some more. Blood Lilies Two Step. Oh, let's read off a few here. Frank Sinatra, vocal Frank Sinatra. More vocal Frank Sinatra. You are too beautiful. So, pretty interesting things there. Another stack. And there's a big book in here. And it's, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's another one of those photography books. Some more vinyl. Who's this? Mexicali Rose, Bing Crosby. I've heard that name before. A bunch more vinyls. And then inside the bottom of here is another. I don't really want to take it out. Man. All right, guys, you convinced me. You convinced me. Holy smokes. Okay. There you go. Some sort of photo fact service volume 10. There's There were several of these throughout some of the boxes already. So let's load this. Side there, and then we'll put these looks final back in here. So, like I said, this box is kind of seen better days, that's for sure. But I probably will clean it up and just keep it for myself since it's in such bad condition. Now, this one seems to be in much better condition. This is actually very clean, but that last one was really dusty. But again, another IV box, ivory box with. The Procter and Gamble logos on there. Um, pretty cool. We've got some friends that work at PNG. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for. More books. So a bunch of more of these books. I was hoping this would be like where they kept the good stuff in the ivory boxes. More books. Some sort of big battery charger hat, some reading, <laughs> broken reading glasses, I mean, couldn't even get a, a working pair of reading glasses, some cables, a bag, and then just some, just some miscellaneous like adapters and stuff like this, what does that say? Caution. So that's all that was inside that box there. But again, like I said, the box itself is in 
pretty good condition really so that will be something I'll probably sell on eBay to, like I said before earlier I think these can go anywhere between like 20 bucks 30 bucks maybe even 40 uh, so very interesting box there but that's gonna be it for this uh, video like I said this is just part one part two will come uh, later when I, I got to go back tomorrow and finish unloading that unit I have pretty much one day left to unload it so I'll go back tomorrow and I'll unload the rest and then like I said I'll do probably there's gonna be part two for sure maybe even a part three because there's still as many boxes as we went through this was not even 50% of the boxes this is probably 30% I would say so there's still quite a bit left in that unit it's gonna be a long day of work tomorrow but anyway guys thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it and you enjoy these kinds of videos I love buying storage and it's just cool to find things like you know old vinyl and stuff hopefully there's some more of it in there that'd be pretty pretty neat but anyway guys thank you for watching the video as always I appreciate all the comments the likes the subscribes we just hit over 300 subscribers recently so that's pretty awesome uh, but anyway until the next video I will see you guys later